Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem 241. In this problem, we are required to determine the magnitude of the resultant force of these three forces, right? And we have to find the direction of that resultant and measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis, is right? So if we want to find the resultant, we have to find the components of the resultant along x and y axis, is right? So we have to find the our x component of the resultant that is the component of the resultant acting in the x direction. So our x will be equal to the summation of all components along the x axis, right? So we can write that this will be equal to f1x plus f2x plus f3x, right? So now if we uh, look into this f1, so f1 is acting in the positive x direction, right? So f1x we can write that our x is equal to f1 x is equal to f1 right so we can write that f1 x is 4 kilonewton plus f2 x right so this is the f2 making 45 degrees so f2 will have one component which will be acting in this direction in the positive x direction like this right so this is f2 x so we can write that uh, since f2 is making 45 degrees with the positive x axis is right so this f2 x is equal to this will be f2 cos of 45 degrees right so we can write that f2 x is f2 so f2 magnitude is 5 kilonewton so this is f, uh, 5 cos of 45 degrees right and similarly f3 x right so f3 x is uh, f since f3 is making 60 degrees with the with this f2 right and this f2 is making 45 degrees so this means that this f3 is making let's say that this angle is let's say alpha right so as we can see that this whole angle is 90 right overall angle of this f3 with the positive x-axis is 60 plus 45 right so this whole angle is 60 plus 45 so this is 105 right so this alpha alpha plus 90 degrees is equal to 60 plus 45 right so this whole angle is alpha alpha plus 90 right and we can see that this whole angle is again given in the in terms of 60 plus 45 right so 60 plus 45 is 105 degrees right so we can write that alpha plus 90 degrees 105 so this is 105 minus 90 so this is 15 degrees right so this means that this f3 is making 15 degrees with the y-axis is right so we can write that this is 15 degrees right so this means that f3 has one component which is acting in the negative x direction like this right so it will have one component which will be acting in the negative x direction right and if this is 15 degrees so then this is the sine component right so we can write that this is 8 sine of 15 degrees right so f3x this is f3x Right, so F3x is minus 8 sine of 15 degrees, right? So minus is due to the uh, direction of this F3x, which is acting in the negative x direction, right? So this will be our x, right? So we can write there, this is 4 plus 5 cos of 45 minus 8 sine of 15 degrees, right? So this is 5.46. Right, so our x is equal to 5.46 kilonewton. Similarly, our y will be equal to the summation of all components in the y direction. Right, so we can write that this is f1y plus f2y plus f3y. Right, so as we can see that uh, f1 is acting only in the x direction, so f1y will be 0. So we can write that this is 0. Right. Similarly, this F2 will have one component which will be acting in the positive y direction like this. Right. So this is this purple one is the F2y. Right. And if we consider this triangle, then this is the 5 sine of 45 degrees. Right. So we can write that F2y. This is F2y. So F2y is 5 sine of 45 degrees. And similarly, F3y. So, F3y is acting in this direction, right? So, since the angle is made with the y-axis, F3 is making the angle with the y-axis, then this F3y 
is the cos component right so we can write that this is 8 cos of 15 degrees and it is acting in the positive y direction so we have to write that plus f3 y right so this is 8 cos of 15 degrees right so this will give us the ry magnitude this is 5 sin of 45 plus 8 cos of 15 degrees this is 11.26 kilonewton right so 11.26 kilonewton right so to find the magnitude of the resultant right so this will be r equal to r x square plus r y square so r x is already uh, known which is 5.46 so r x is 5.46 squared plus r y is 11.26 squared so this is 12.51 right so the resultant magnitude is 12.51 kilonewton right so let me draw the resultant right vector so resultant has our x which is acting in the positive x direction right this is our positive x direction right and this is our positive y direction so the resultant has one another component which is acting in the y direction like this right so if we add up both of these components so they this will give us the resultant vector right so this is r this is r x and this is the r y right and this is the angle theta which is measured in the counterclockwise direction right so to find that we we can apply tan theta to this triangle so tan theta is equal to r y divided by r x and theta equals to tan inverse r y is 11.26 divided by rx which is 5.46 so 10 inverse 11.26 divided by 5.46 so the angle is 64.13 degrees right and this angle is measured in the counterclockwise direction from the positive x axis is right so the resultant magnitude is 12.51 kilonewton and it is making 64.13 with the positive x axis is right so this is the solution of this problem